Yeah, I mean, so like I said, guys, this is my, my good friend Tom. He's a fellow coach, and he is my guinea pig. <laughs> so he, uh, yeah. Yeah, Tom, uh, this is, is completely new to Twitch. So um, it'll be fun after this is over, Tom, when you see uh, what our what our what our Twitch stream looked like, because you really have no idea, you know. Zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause all all you're seeing right now is just my face. So, anyways, thank you again for for being here and for for being willing to be my guinea pig. And I was saying earlier how the purpose of of us doing this today is really to let let the viewers know. Um, like get that, like let them have an experience of what coaching actually is, and yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I think people still have an I don't really grasp about what what we do as coaches and things. Mm -hmm. So this is just another good platform for that learning. Yeah. For that yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and also for them to get a good feel about me and how I coach, you know, yeah. and give them a real choice on whether or not they want to come back. So. Of course. Yeah. Course. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. So, with that being said, are you ready? Ready for some coaching? Okay, so yeah. what would you, yeah, what would you like to have some coaching around today? Um, so, what I'm, uh, I want to discuss or get coaching on is just recently, you know, just kind of opening with my uh, coaching business, really getting into it. And, and so, I'm really, and then really taking that step of being a um, working from home. And mm. so, it's just really all new to me. And I'm not, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not cutting up my day like I need to be. I just get to be distracted or I do this mm -hmm. or do that. So I just am not, <laughs> I just feel like I'm all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in other words, you're, you're embarking on this like new business, right? And it's a big transition. You're working from home and you're not really confident that you're, you're organizing your day in a way that is supportive of your new business. Of my new business and also just mm -hmm. of my day of, okay. of, of my of my entire day. So okay. I still want to balance in my wellness stuff, mm -hmm. my workouts, uh, mm -hmm. um, and then still my social side, seeing people, going to appointments mm -hmm. and seeing clients and or potential clients and doing these kinds of things. And, and I just not – it's just like it's all of it's all over the place. I just get like – squirrel right i get oh over here and then i squirrel and then i do this and then i focus too much on my wellness then i focus too much on you know uh socialize so it, i'm just all over the place okay yeah so in other words like you're you're basically like following the fun of the distraction and then kind of waking up and realizing that you've let all these other important things go right exactly i mean for you know you know forever i've had a job and especially these last 10 years you know just the structure so Mm -hmm. What I realized is the job gave me my life structure. So mm -hmm. You had to be there at this time. You left at this time. You worked on these days. You had mm -hmm. these days off. And yeah. so without that structure, the feeling is phenomenal. But then it is also comes with some areas that I think I just I'm not I need a little bit more structure than what I have. OK. Yeah. So what would you like to specifically accomplish before the end of our time together then? I would really like to see if we can create some sort of structure schedule, knowing, mm -hmm. understanding that I, I need it to flow, right? Because between some of my wellness stuff I would I want to accomplish, the, uh, my work stuff and my social stuff and all those, I want to get those all in and balance them better, at least knowing when, because I am not, and really the work, the new work side of my day mm -hmm. is the one I'm least paying the most attention to. I'm like, I just have this feeling like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll mm -hmm. just do it tomorrow. And then all of a sudden I'll get, I get bogged down and then I forget about what I was going to do today mm -hmm. and get that done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to make sure then that by the end of our time, you, ha you have a schedule set in place that continues including space for the things that you've been doing and want to keep doing and also make like guarantees that you have the space in there and the time given towards your coaching business. Yes, yeah, just a, I don't need it to be rock solid, but mm -hmm. I need a, a, a generalized outline because I know it's going to be fluid. Uh, that okay. part I know. And, and I'm okay. okay with that. Actually, that's some of what I really enjoy, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, is the fluidity of my day as opposed to my past mm -hmm. life 
where everything was pretty structured. You know, I went to lunch here, mm -hmm. went back from lunch to here, and those kinds of things. Yeah, so so a structure that is flexible by its nature. Right. Okay. All right, I'm going to take that down as a note. So then, when thinking about the structure that's flexible, how will you know that we've been successful in in doing that for you? The way I work a lot is just off of feel. And so mm -hmm. I'll know once we look at a schedule, and I'm not saying we're going to do every day, but just mm -hmm. really starting to uh, cut up some things that I'll, I'll say, oh, that's it. And mm -hmm. I know what I need to to be doing. Because some of it might be just some tools, right? I don't, I don't know if I need some tools, better tools that I'm doing now or or just making more commitments to certain areas of my life. I'm not just quite sure, but I'll know it. There's just a feeling I get like, yeah, that's it. And my mind will start really thinking about it. Okay. And, it, and I'm the kind of person that I don't solve it in the moment all the time, but mm -hmm. I like to think about it and then really, and that's when I can complete it. So that's, it's that okay. thinking feeling. Okay. So, so thinking feeling, what, what other word could you give me to describe that feeling that's more of like a traditional feeling word? I would say it'd be like an aha. It's an Oprah, I guess. Aha. Okay. So okay. I'll say, oh, that's probably it. And that's probably where I needed to be this time. Okay. So, so it's something, it's a feeling that you either have or you don't have. Right. And it, it'll okay. just like ding and I'm like, ew, that's, that's what I've been missing. Okay. And, and what I've been trying to do at, at this point. Okay, because it sounds like you, you do have a schedule, right? Like, because you're in, in that you're spending your time on the things that are important to you. It's just not, it, and it's very flexible and maybe a little too flexible, not quite what you want it to be yet. So you don't have this aha feeling. Right. Okay. I'm, not, I'm feeling like I'm having deficits in some yeah. areas and, and then get a little too distracted and not yeah. committing to certain things when I, when I say I'm right now. Yeah, yeah. And and not committing to things that are important to you too, you know, right. which is totally understandable, you know, when you're there's a lot of things that are important to you and, you yeah. know, you just are creating the space right now for everything to to be to to have a space, if you know exactly. what I mean. Yeah. And what's interesting is when I made the shift from working full, you know, at a regular schedule to this, you think, mm -hmm. "Oh, it'll be easier to get back and to have a life balance, right? Mm -hmm. And it actually hasn't been as easy as I thought it was going to be yeah. about trying to create that life balance. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that makes total sense that, you know, you were used to operating in a very certain way for so many years that, um, you know, you wouldn't just magically operate in a different way, but you're, I, I know you, so I can say that like you're well on your way, you know, to to having this all solved and, and worked out for you. Yeah, and I think it's just uh, – oh, thank you for that. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's just evolution, though. You know, it's just mm -hmm. like you said, you know, I just thought it was just going to be – I just had this unrealistic expectation, apparently, but it's just going to be easier than really what it mm -hmm. is. And I'm just – I need to – and it's – I'm reaching points in – especially with the business side of this uh, of where I'm really like – feeling like the workload is just starting to pile mm -hmm. and I'm really not, I don't have any formation of a plan yeah. to address it. Yeah. And really right now the, it is about this cutting up the time to say, this is when I do this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, when thinking about this aha, you know, moment uh -huh. in particular, why is that important to you? It's it's almost like just what I just said, where mm -hmm. I just am feeling this this feeling of the pile starting to, to just really get high, mm -hmm. and I am not. It's like I just keep having this attitude of oh, I'll just get to it tomorrow, oh, I'll do mm -hmm. it later, and then I'm still not addressing all these things and getting it going. Yeah. So it, and it's important to me for my business side, uh, you know. And then when I don't feel like I'm doing something, then I. Then it's then it affects my wellness side because I'm thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I should be committing this time to other things. Mm -hmm. And then the social side too, because I'm feeling like you know when you get that nagging stuff in your head and you think, 
well, I, maybe I should be somewhere else. And you start thinking you're not, mm -hmm. I'm not being present of where I'm at. I'm just mm. thinking a lot about the pot. Yeah. Yeah. So in, it's almost like the stress builds when you're not, sure. not spending time on the things, you know, you need to spend times on. And then, and then it starts like that stress boils over into other areas of your life where it, it's not supposed to be stressful or it wasn't right. stressful before. Yeah. So, so the aha moment will let you know that you're, you're working away from creating your own like stress ball and more towards a stress-free approach to everything. Yeah. And just really in my, I'm um, kind of a left brain organizational kind of mindset guy mm. anyway. And so once I have my cubes and the things organized then um, then I really can run. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, well, what what do you think needs to be addressed first? Um, I think I my initial thought is just looking at my week and looking at my schedule and what am I doing. Mm -hmm. And then really cutting up, especially for my business side, of really what, what am I doing here and, and when can I really make those commitments mm -hmm. of working because that's what I'm not doing. I, I'll say I'll do it for a couple hours tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then squirrel. I'll get a, and it doesn't take much to get distracted, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll just allow myself to get yeah. so distracted. Yeah. So I can't tell if it's just a commitment to the schedule. I need a different mindset. I, I'm just not sure. Okay. Um, so I think we can talk through that. I you know yeah. see which route makes me feel like oh that's more the aha. Yeah, I, so I'm, I'm hearing several things there. I'm hearing okay. that on the one hand, it would be helpful to look at your week as a whole and find space for where you could, you know, say yes to working on your coaching business. And I'm also hearing that we could investigate your motivation to work on the coaching business so that maybe when you come to that time in your week or your day and there's a nut that gets... <laughs> thrill and you maybe don't become a squirrel literally like a just a little uh, ball of yarn and i just get really distracted. <laughs> well now you're a cat but yeah, yeah but so yeah. I, and and as you said that so that's correct and, uh, okay. and um and as you said it i think a good place then to start is just with the schedule okay and, and i think that might have a link into maybe my attitude but we, okay. we can really just if we work on the schedule and I feel like we work on the schedule, it might lead into a better mindset. For me. Okay, sure, we can start there, absolutely. So, um, I mean, where, like, how often would you like to work on your, your coaching practice? Oh, that's a, see, that's, that's a good question. And I, I think um, I, I'm just... I know it's not going to be 40 hours a week. I know that mm -hmm. because I do like the flexibility and where I'm at and what the clients I have now, and, uh, those types of things. I'm, I'm you know, there's, I, ha I have quite a bit of space. And mm -hmm. so um, I think I'm looking to organize my space better, maybe looking at during the work week. Um, I'm actually really trying to leave my weekends kind of open to that mm -hmm. extent. Mm -hmm even though I'm working from home. I mean, it's just, that's, that's why this is such a different mindset. You know, I'm like, well, you know, I still wake up at work and then I go to bed at work and then on the weekends, I still wake up where I work. And, mm -hmm. and so it's, it's just kind of an odd thing. It, I'm still getting used to that, I guess, mm -hmm. is, is kind of my thought. So I think I want to um, look at me, my week, make some commitments of blocks of time. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm a very visual kind of person and so I think I'm also wanting some sort of new um, technique because I don't think I'm doing that well I'm only using whatever app it gives me on my calendar and I just kind of use it that way and I don't think it's it's flowing for me well and I don't know if, what, what other things I can look at to see if it does okay um, so I'm not I'm not I'm a I'm a Windows person so I'm not you know very handy with Mac um, and I'm 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 confident that when you sit down to address that with your calendar, that you'll you'll figure it out for sure. Okay. 
there I'm sure there's some way to really bring in that what the key insight that I heard from you is a visual representation of that block of time. Um, right. So. Um, let me go get a calendar. I have. A, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have a calendar, and I haven't been using it for my my work this type of schedule. But I can oh, okay. use it here. Really, I've been doing a lot of it online, and so I can't really access that right now because we're sure. Talking. Yeah, so, sure. <laughs> I um, love the problem kind of solving. What I look for in things. I hope you can see this. Where I, I just like big overviews. Can you see that? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And so you can see the whole week as a whole. Yep. I think what I'm looking for is to look at something like that and start chopping up day, half days, or something about mm -hmm. this is work. This is when I go to my wellness stuff. Mm -hmm. This is for um, clients, some client time. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also some, um, I guess, my own uh, discovery time and my work time. Yeah. Okay. So knowing that calendars can be a flexible tool, which is one of the right. things you were looking for, at, at this moment, how, where would you like to place like at least one chunk of time that you can dedicate to your coaching practice for the next week? So knowing my week, so I guess we'll, you want to just, uh, I guess we can go, just go through each day, right? Yeah, so whatever, you, whatever you want to do. Um, because I kind of have a, I'm used to a, um, my day being, my weeks being somewhat typical, mm -hmm. even though they, they, they flex quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I know like on, and, one thing I should say about myself is I, um, I'm a morning energy person. Mm -hmm. So I am the most effective in the morning about getting stuff done. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not too bad in the afternoon. It's like I'm always most effective after I sleep. So it's mm -hmm. in the morning when I wake up. And mm -hmm. then sometimes if I take a nap after lunch, take a quick snooze, and, I, and, then, and then I'm ready to go right after that. Mm -hmm. And they correlate with my workout wellness time because that's when I save the energy. So I'm really looking to, for those moments like that, to have, to be at the energy, that the high energy, because that's what mm -hmm. I'm not doing. This is a good discussion because mm -hmm. that is, I'm realizing this right now. That is what I'm not doing. So my focus is on when I have that good energy, I go work out. Yeah. And, and by the time I do all that and get, you know, eat, rehydrate, do all the stuff I'm supposed to do. And then I get to my, what I thought was I commend my time to work hours. Then I'm like, well, I don't want to do that now because I just don't have that same energy. Mm -hmm. So, okay. That actually helps me quite a bit just in that, mm -hmm. about thinking about this. Yeah. I actually could see a little aha moment happen. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little bit of aha because I'm realizing I'm not taking my energy moments in the mornings mm -hmm. where I really could be effective with my work. Mm -hmm. So how might you do that? Well, I, I think I still want to go back for each day. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking about this and let's just see how it plays out. And I'll, I'm going to track it on my calendar. Sounds great. And what I'm thinking is I can just split days, if that makes any sense. And to maybe create a, a kind of an overview kind of uh, schedule. Okay. Right? So I know on Monday mornings, um, I have wellness stuff in the morning. So I know that that's going to be wellness stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave that alone. But then the afternoon, I generally have free opening, which is a good block for work. Mm -hmm. But what I just said about myself is that literally means do I schedule in a nap? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I do, huh? Because I need... Or else I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to have that boost of energy yeah. like I typically have yep. in order to do it, right? Sounds like a great thing to at least try, right? And test out. So, uh, yeah, my mother's going to be. Uh, my mother would have been so proud of me. I'm scheduling a nap. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, okay. So, and then I'll put work stuff in the afternoon. And really, what I should should think about this. 
if I should really do it like two to four or put a schedule, mm -hmm. right? I mean like actual hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think about that? Well, what do you think? What's what's making you think that that's a good idea? I yeah, it's a good idea because without for me that little commitment of that I'll start here and end here. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, that's another good thing. Um because right now, when I just say I'll do it in the afternoon, I don't know when I'm starting and I don't know when I'm finishing. Yeah. And then, and then when can other things fit in, right, mm -hmm. with all the other parts of my life? Okay. Yeah, it sounds like if you have a, a firm end time, then you can be like, oh, no, yarn. <laughs> like, I will get to you at 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'll have to roll the yarn yeah. in the corner until yeah. a certain time. All yeah, right. yeah. So I like that. So okay. Monday, the morning is wellness, mm -hmm. and then the afternoon will be uh, work mm -hmm. from two to four. After a nap, yeah. After an oh, and I did put down the nap. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's go to Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Looks like my morning will be. Um, I know I have a client in the morning, or um, yeah. So the morning will be work. So then I can do that at from nine to eleven, and it's really sounding. Just as we're going through this, these yeah. two-hour blocks are sounding really intriguing to me. Where I have the energy for two hours, then I'm then I'm good, and I know Great. I can get quite a bit done in the in that. And I'll leave. Yeah. And then I guess um, the afternoon is just wellness or Oprah. See, I didn't have to uh, put a nap in. Nope, <laughs> but it's always an option. <laughs> yeah, um, and so I always have a, usually on a Wednesday, I have a, 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 a webinar, you know, mm -hmm. that I have to attend. And so I really can look towards the morning again and do work and then attend a webinar. And then that's it. And then the rest of the day is open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're on a roll. Yay. Look, we're already to Thursday. <laughs> I know. Job almost done. Yeah. Um, I have to work with this lady on this TV show sometimes on Thursday. Yeah. The She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will do the work in the afternoon, mm -hmm. same time period, two to four, and then I will do, see, I, I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to leave Friday open because I'm not sure yet with my other, mm -hmm. I have another client coming on board, okay. not sure where the regularity will then be, but actually okay. this will help because I'm going to have some sense of when I can fit those in and mm -hmm. fit other things in. Yeah. 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 So it sounds like Friday then being open is uh, a, a big chunk of flexibility, which is one yeah. of the qualities you wanted in this, in your schedule. Yeah, actually, on Thursdays, my wellness has to be in the morning now that I think about it. So actually, that works out. Perfect. And then Friday, it is, I'll just leave it, I'll leave Friday, Saturday, and Sunday open. Um, because it's now I have one, two, three, four blocks of time for mm -hmm. my work and mm -hmm. really focus on my work. Right. I like, that. I like that a lot. Great. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, it sounds like we've already had, like, you know, we've come up with a, a plan, which is what you wanted from all of this. Um, so, and that, <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah, and I actually had a couple of ahas during it, and I think you recognize them. One mm -hmm. about, you know, this this energy, where my energy is at, and when to utilize it the best. Mm -hmm. And that includes if I have to take an, uh, you know, take some downtime and then mm -hmm. get to it. And then also recognizing I need to structure this in such a 
heavy manner, that really riding two to four will help me kind of stay on track and then allow me to kind of uh, warp around all that mm-hmm. and just focus on that and then I'm done. You know, I, I like yeah. that. Yeah, great, great. So in other words, um, <clears throat> sorry, in other words, having a firm end time was a solution to the obstacle of getting that nebulous distraction of, oh, well, I don't know how long work is going to take, so I better not do it because I want to do this. Right. Yeah. And just saying that, looking at it and saying, listen, all I got to do is it's 3.15. I just got to go to 4. So Mm -hmm. just hang in there for another 45 minutes Mm -hmm. and you're done Mm -hmm. and everything's buttoned up and then you can go on some other things in your life. Great. Yeah. So I'm I'm really curious, Tom, um, what other things might come up for you that derail this plan or that could derail the plan? Well, there's just the, uh, the inherent fear of just starting this business. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've never really started a business. So I, I know that that comes up and that, that's, mm-hmm. that's about a, that's probably like a two day show. I mean, like literally 48 hours. I mean, just those fears. Yeah. But, but having a block of time like this to, to help myself sit there to say, okay, start thinking, start doing, start working on it. Mm -hmm. I think as I evolve through this and commit to this schedule, then I, the fears generally will come down Mm -hmm. because I'm actually addressing them. I'm going after something. And, you know, uh, I love Brene Brown who writes about, you know, your gremlins or whatever, you know, shame hides, but shame cannot stay if you talk about it or if you address it. Right. So true. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah. is that my fears, my shame, or whatever it is, can't hide because I'm actually going to be working towards that goal. So I like yeah. that part. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it, there's like this this a kind of power in the schedule you've just set up because because all, like you've set up a block of time. So your, your brain can't really go, oh, I don't want to show up to that block of time because it's, it's just this open thing to just, just to show up to. Whereas if you were like, oh, on Monday during that time, I am writing my manifesto, yeah. the fear might go, oh, no, you're not. You're going to go get pizza <laughs> you yeah, know, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it, the other thing that kind of comes up is that um, just what you were just saying that with it just kind of structured and I can take these little blocks of time. And I've done that before when I've organized other um, things when, where I used to work at. And, you know, you just take the block out and move the block and you can move over here. And so I like having blocks of time. Mm-hmm. And that's, I, I, I don't know if I can show you where I literally wrote a line in between, between mornings mm. and afternoons mm-hmm. so that I can take a block and move the block around if I need to, right? So yeah. Or something happens and I need to address that a client needs and they need to move schedules of things, then I really can move it into my wellness, but then I move my wellness Yeah, Yeah, that's, I mean, that's excellent that you just did another layer of flexibility there. And it it sounds like with your Friday currently open that that's, you know, you can move one from one day if some emergency comes up and still know that you can get it done on Friday. Yes. Yeah. For where I'm at in my my business, that's actually a a good thing because um, I'm starting to have like lunches to meet people Mm -hmm. or to you know, kind of network and things. Right. And actually, that actually, I like that a lot. It, I feel like I can do that. Or if it opens up on a Tuesday, then I can move my Tuesday block to Friday. And yep. move my Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. It, it seems like you do. And I have the whole weekend off. <laughs> I know. And the weekend's coming up. <laughs> yes. And, and I just have to say, right now, I have the greatest boss ever. So, yeah, uh, right? Yeah. He's he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> um, well, how are you feeling about all of this? I am feeling really good. I know it's when when we actually went through this. I mean, I was really this has been bothering me for a long uh-huh. time, and now when we actually went through it, it was like, oh, this one's pretty simple. <laughs> right. I don't know why I just had this block with it where yeah. I'm like I couldn't. There's something with this that I couldn't, I didn't feel like I could create this on my own mm-hmm. and really commit to it. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. now when I see it in front of me and in front of the paper and all that, I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. this yeah. Is, this is not that bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know about you, but like, it's almost like that ahas, like, are always like, why didn't I think of this sooner? <laughs> like, right. You know, like, it's more like a duh, <laughs> you know, yeah. than a. Like, it's so simple it was yeah. hard, I guess. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. And because yeah. I know me enough where I know what it takes because I'm left brain oriented, right? So mm -hmm. when I can see it on paper, and I can see the blocks and that I have freedom to move blocks or whatever, but generally my week is like this. You know, I love patterns and I love mm -hmm. uh, consistency and mm -hmm. this is what I get. And, I, and so again, I'm like, I thought we were gonna talk about this a lot longer. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, right? I'm, I'm really good about this. <laughs> no, this is a great example of a 30 minute coaching session, you know, yeah. cause we're like basically on, we are on the dot for 30 minutes. Oh, um, so I think one last little piece here is what, what kind of accountability would you like around this new schedule? Um, I think I was just thinking about that myself. And so I know I'm, I think I'm going to work off my – actually put especially my work blocks in my phone. So just like there are any other uh, commitment that I have. And so when I, I wake up in the morning, I look like, what do I got going today? What am I doing? And, and then I – like on Monday, I'm going to see from two to four, mm -hmm. I got my work uh, commitment and how I titled that will be important. I better think about how I'm going to do this. Um, maybe business. I don't know. I, I got to think about the title for that to say this is this means uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's build your business. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. And build my business time. And maybe that's the title. And when I see that, I'm like, okay, I know yep. at two o'clock I'm doing this. And then at four, I'm done. Yeah, it sounds like that that title captures that open space that you were wanting, where you can just show up, and if you got to air the gremlin, you can air the gremlin. You do whatever you need to do to build the business. Yeah, and it is it is not coincidence that at four o'clock I end, and then happy hours mostly start. <laughs> that's, that's totally another subject. Do you stay at home for happy hour as well, or do you? Go <laughs> Well, very cool, uh, Tom. Oh, no, I like this a lot. This will, and I like the flexibility. And like, uh, what I like is some mornings I'm I'm doing my uh, work from home, and some, um, and some days I'm doing it in the afternoon. I love I yeah. love that too. I love that. That's great. Um, it's not exactly the same all the time. That's great. Huh? Good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you again yeah. so very much for doing this with me and for just jumping in. Really, yeah. no, really appreciate thank you. it. I mean, really, really helped. I mean, yeah. This, is a, this has been a real issue for me. Yeah, yeah. It's really down, so yet here I got, I got some help. So I love this. Yeah. So thank you. Awesome. Appreciate yeah, of course, of course, and we will connect soon. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye.